Hey everyone, I'm here at SHOT Show 2017, stopping by the Midwest Industries booth. As you guys know, I just recently did a 300 Blackout Upper Build, where I have one of their Gen 3 M-Lock rails, and I gotta say, I am in love with it. It's my first uh, full rail by Midwest Industries, and it is amazing. It's been super resilient for me. I love uh, their barrel nut design, and that they supply all the tools. So, as you guys have obviously come to this, realize at this point, I love it. So, I wanna let them show off some of their new stuff for this year, uh, with the stuff you may have already seen with their ARs, and some stuff maybe you haven't seen at this point. So we got Ryan here and uh, I'll let you take it away. Awesome, sounds good. So uh, this is new for us this year on SHOT yeah. Show. Um, this is gonna be our G3 yeah. M18. Yeah, um, this is gonna be our 18 inch M-Lock uh, rifle um, with our, excuse me, our 18 inch handguard. Look, and uh, basically you've got some really nice clean lines. This is on a true 18 inch rifle as you can see, we'll get it all the way in the screen. Um, it's running with our two chamber brakes, so it's running all the way to the end. Um, it's got your normal QD mounts yep. on all sides, nice clean lines, very modular system. Um, obviously, you know, there's critics with M-Lock and key mod. So, yeah. you know, you have to pick your poison for right. that. But, uh, for the most part, it's going to boil down to uh, personal preference. It's got a great balance of it, um, you know, yeah. for that. And I got to say, they're sure. really lightweight also, um, so even though you have something like a full 18-inch uh, rail, to, uh, you don't have to worry about a whole mode. bunch of weight out at the muzzle end that's going to slow Just you down as you're transitioning up. from one target to another. And they're also super slim lines, so it's really easy to get a nice positive grip on that thing. If you like to do the thumb over bore, it's super easy to get away with that. And then, like you mentioned, I love having those QD uh, sling mounts already built in because when you have to add on an extra piece, that can always come loose, it can always jingle around. Uh, extra weight, not stuff you need. So I love that it's built in right away like that. So we're running uh, 1.3 inches of inner diameter okay. on this. So we try to keep it really slim line. Um, also, we do make it in a lightweight version. So it's gonna be the G3 M18 ML version. Okay. And basically what we're doing is we're shaving the top pick rail. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's allowing to cut some, cut some weight. Yeah. Ounces equal pounds and pounds equal right. pain. So. And on those, you do have the front section. So if you have the front sight, you can still put a Absolutely. Right? Absolutely. And then if people did want to add rail sections midway through, that's an option. That is an option as well. Yeah, Absolutely. so you're, you're not totally SOL and not able to go back if you got to get one of those lightweight ones, which I have a friend who loves that one. So they have a little bit of flavor for everyone, which is really Perfect. Cool. I'll uh, also show you our so, one we got our 17XR, all right? So this is something that's new for us this year. Um, this is running on a 16-inch uh, rifle upper, also with our two-chamber brake. Um, the length of the handguard is 17.25 inches long. Um, the big key thing with this is you gotta make sure that you run it with a muzzle brake that's dispersing the gas to the sides, yep. just so it's obviously not gonna banana up. But this is something that's really cool for guys that wanna run 16 inches, right. but still like to get that that grip out there. This one also has the QDs mm -hmm. on all three sides, also in the back. Right now, we're only making this an M1. Okay. So yeah, and you get that extra couple inches of sight radius, which can make a difference for those of you who are just running exclusively irons. And I'm sure if you've been around the industry long enough, you've seen pictures of people who want to recess that muzzle device into the rail, and it just blows that thing apart. So this gives you those channels off to the side. Like you said, you want to make sure it's the ones only going off to the side. Um, but that's an excellent option for any of you who like that as long of a rail as you can possibly get while still maintaining that 16-inch barrel. Definitely a huge seller for us. It's, uh, it's this is our new uh, Gen 3. It's got our anti-rotational torque plate inside of it with clamp screws. Um, super easy to install. Guys can do it at home for themselves. Yeah, so. and you guys, I'll put a link down below to the video where I actually installed one of those Gen 3 rails. It was very easy. Again, all the parts are supplied. They lay everything out in the directions very well. Um, there's no margin, of, uh, no gray area where you're not really sure what to do. I've also, uh, because I wasn't sure, I thought the uh, torque value is like, oh, that can't be enough. So I actually put uh, paint pen lines just to make sure I can watch to make sure that those screws aren't backing out. I've got, I don't know, probably close to a thousand rounds through that over the last, I don't know, six, seven months, however long it's been. Has not backed out whatsoever. Everything's nice and solid. The rail's not going anywhere. So I really love this attachment method so Absolutely, far. absolutely. I'm kind of excited, obviously. Alright, so we've talked about their AR products. However, for us AK guys who are big fans of AKs, they are giving us the hookup as well. And they're coming out with some really cool options for the AK-47. Uh, so why don't uh, you show us what you guys Yeah, so this year, we're, uh, we're dropping, this is our Gen 2 side rail. And uh, this is something that's very unique with Midwest Industries. We're really proud of this product. This is actually the only anodized part, so we'll be hitting the market really soon. Okay. Um, this is very cool. 
So what we have here is you have your standard mounting interface. Okay. Piece, okay. So this is going to be a two-piece system. It's modular. Mm -hmm. And the one thing that this we allow you to do with our Gen 2 is it's top cover specific. Okay. So if you want to run an RMR, if you want to run an ACOG, mm -hmm. mini ACOG, if you want to run a full pick rail, a T1, an MRO, you have the ability to purchase this once and then you just change out the top interface pieces with screws. Super fine. Oh. <laughs> He got me. That was not scripted. I Solid nut to have. Anyway, so what you have the ability to do with this, this piece, is you can move 70 thousandths of an inch to the left or right okay. to get that almost true co-witness. Okay. So I'm going to show you how it mounts up real quick. Super easy. We've got our, uh, our patented QD. It's going to slide right over the interface, latch it down. I'll have you take a yeah. look at it, Ryan. Go ahead, because this is the yeah. first time he's seen it. Too, yeah, I, so. and I just want to show you guys close up. This thing, I don't know how, how well you'll be able to see it, but this is pretty much as low as you can possibly get this thing. They have as little material there to kick it down. So, I, again, this is the first time I've handled this. So I'm anxious to see how close the co-witness is. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's right there. So if your dot goes down or whatever, um, you, you can still definitely make a, a good target uh, point of aim with those irons as well. And worst case scenario, like you said, it's QD. Uh, so you can just throw that lever down and pull it off if you want. Now, me personally, I prefer running my optics on the gas uh, on the gas tube. I try to keep as little going on back here as possible. However, you guys have an option for that yes, as well. Yes, I'll, uh, I'll show you that. So this is gonna be our Gen 2 extended handguard for AKs. Um, this is universal setup, but they are, these are top cover specific as well. And uh, the one thing that we did that's a little bit different is we had to trim down the gas tube in the system. And what we did was we trimmed down the gas tube, which really allows you to get that nice solid cheek weld to get that really good true co-witness. So I'll have you look at this one as well. We make this in a T1, um, we make this in a full pick as well as an MRO setup. So, so. And so just to clarify, this does use a proprietary gas tube. You're not doing, yes. uh, you can't just grab your own. Yes, you can't grab your own. Oh wow. Yeah, so that's even, that's even better. So that gets it obviously mounted a lot lower and uh, yeah, now obviously if you were to mount it directly to the rail, it'd kick it up a little bit more, but having the optic specific top mounts here, uh, that you, that's probably pretty close to a lower one third, yeah, right? Yeah, it is. Yeah. Um, we also have the QD swivel mounts in this as well, that guys still still like to run. Um, the now, installation is, you're, you're doing a little bit more gunsmithing work, obviously the guys who are out there who are AK guys understand yeah, that. Right. So there are some things that you might have to do to your rifle to make it fit. But if you have problems, you call us at the shop. Um, we can run compatibility okay. issues and, and stuff like that. And are these M Lock or Key Mod? These or are M Lock, and we make Key Mod okay. as well. Yep. Okay. Um, yep. So they're they're available in both sets. Yeah. And then one thing I want to talk about too is is these upper rails right here that replace your gas tube. Can you tell us a little yep. bit about these? So these are going to be our AK railed gas tubes, and. Um, these are going to be rifle specific, so obviously okay. you have to know what kind of AK you're running. Sure. Um, something that's different from ours, and I'm not going to name other companies that are obviously running the same game, sure. but something that's different from ours is you'll look. Um, we've got a lot of feedback from a lot of different shooters, and shooters are saying, hey, you know, we can run it. We want something that's going to hold a true zero and not come loose on us. Because obviously, you know, this is this is a pretty big proponent to run in the rifle. Right. So what we have on the bottom of is we have set screws that run in the front, okay. set screws that run in the back. Okay. So you do have to make sure that you know what kind of AK that you have because they are going to be specific for the Yugo and M70 and MPAP. They're all a little bit different than length and size. Okay. So we have those available on, a, on our website as well. Awesome, man. It looks like a good, solid uh, construction there. Now, just curi out of curiosity, it looks like there might be enough space to where you can take your lower hand card off without taking this off. Is that is that doable? I have not okay. delved into that. Okay. So, I, so maybe? Maybe. <laughs> and uh, maybe is better than a definite no, like with some of the other ones. Call okay. the shop and ask for a guy named Andy. He'll, okay. He'll be able to help Excellent. you out with that. So, obviously, these guys are 
covering the gamut now. It's not just optic mounts. It's not just ARs. It's not just AKs. They're doing just about everything out there. Everything is nice and solid. Again, I'm in love with the Gen 3 rail that I have on my 300 Blackout. Um, if people want to know more about your product line or find out more about what's coming out, where can they look? Yeah, they can look at our website. It's uh, www.midwestindustriesinc.com. It's Inc. is an INC. We get some pretty crazies out there who uh, like to put I and K, but yeah. All right, so I'll have all the links below. Again, I highly recommend you guys check this stuff out. It's really impressive. I guarantee once you get your hands on it and you feel how solid everything is, you're probably going to fall in love with it. Um, again, I'm super impressed. I'm sold on it. I'm really happy to be here talking to these guys. So Ryan, thanks very much for yeah, talking to us. Yeah, not a problem, us. Ryan. Yeah, thanks for watching. We'll catch you on the next one.